In this video, I'm going to show you how to unzip a zip file that you downloaded to Google Drive using a Chromebook. I'm also going to show you how to zip files up inside of Google Drive so that you can easily send them to other people. So if you've ever downloaded a zip file to your Google Drive and you clicked on it, you're going to recognize that you can't actually open up any of the files that are in a zip file. What we need to do is we need to get out of the web-based browser of Google Drive. We need to go to the folder on our Chromebook and we want to then go ahead and click on where it says Google Drive on the left hand side. Now I'm going to search for my zip file that I'm looking to unzip and once I find that file I'm going to double click on it and you're going to see that I have all of the files here. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that these get moved into a folder on my Google Drive, essentially making a copy of them so that I'm able to open them up, hence unzipping the file. So I'm going to, on the left hand side, click on Google Drive and underneath that, hit the carrot that says My Drive. I'm going to find the folder that I want to send these files to and then all I'm going to do is click the first one, hold down my shift key, click the last one, and then I'm going to hold down my click and drag them to the folder that I want them to appear in. What you'll notice is that it is copying all 12 items into the specified folder inside of my Google Drive. Once in the folder, I can now click on any of these files to show what they actually are. If I had a folder that I wanted to zip up, I would go to that folder, I would select the files that I wanted to be in the zip, I'm going to select all three of these. I'm going to right click and go down to zip selection. You can then see that it is at the bottom zipping these three items. And once it is complete, you will see that you have a name for this. You can right click on it and you can rename it. And then you'd be able to go ahead and attach that zip file to an email or put it out on the internet for anyone else to download. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.